As always, Elsie is never happy to see me in my chicken boots. Good morning and welcome back to the Cottage Farmstead. I'm Rebecca, one of the two old souls here working to restore our homesteading heritage and showing you how you can do the same. I just finished cleaning our chicken coop this morning and realized that you all would probably be interested in one of the things that we're combating this past week. We discovered in their poop, yet again, uh, evidence of roundworms. This happens to us pretty much every fall and spring. Um, no matter how much deep mulch we try, putting apple cider vinegar in their water, garlic in their water, we always seem to have issues with it. We do try to use some natural methods for getting rid of them. So I was gonna take you along and show you some of the things that we do. Part of the process is using recipe from Lisa Steele's book, Fresh Eggs Daily. And I'll share that with you in a little while. But for now, I'll show you what we do in the coop. So you can see our happy and mostly healthy flock there. Some of them are starting to molt, but not too bad just yet. We're just starting to see feathers around. But they are a few of them that are starting to struggle with some worms. It's just something that we have an issue with in this particular yard and we look forward to our future place being able to rotationally graze them around the pasture and hopefully prevent worm issues in the future. But for now, we do have to find some natural ways for treating them. So one of the first things we do is we get DE. We keep a bag of this in a bin in our garage all the time. We don't use it in the coop year round because it can be a bit of an irritant to chicken lungs and human lungs, but it is great for getting rid of parasites and mites. So we usually pull it out in the spring and fall and we sprinkle it around where the chickens drop at night so that any poop that does fall that has worms in it, those worms won't survive and they won't continue spreading. As always, Elsie is never happy to see me in my chicken boots. Beautiful feathers though, girl. One of the first things that we do when we start noticing worms in their poop is to get as many cucumber, cantaloupe, zucchini, any type of squash chickens that we can because vegetables and fruits that are in the cucurbit family have a coating on their seeds when they're fresh that paralyzes worms and helps them to naturally get rid of their parasite problems. So we've been getting some leftover cantaloupes and cucumbers from Growing Green Family Farms. And as you can see, they have been gobbling them up. So we're hoping that this helps clear up their roundworm problems. So like I mentioned earlier, we like using natural options as much as possible. And we got a natural dewormer recipe from Lisa Steele from her book, Fresh Eggs Daily. And then in here, she mentions, as like I um, talked about earlier, the cucurbit family of vegetables like your squashes and gourds and cucumbers and cantaloupes have a natural substance on them that paralyzes worms so we like feeding that as much as possible this time of year but she also has recipes for spring and fall deworming um, we typically adapt it to based on what we happen to have growing or what herbs we have we usually do the garlic and yogurt and mix in some different herbs and dandelion greens in ours when we modify it um, we do have mint growing we don't always have nasturtium leaves when we need them. But we got inspiration from her and we definitely use this several times in the spring and the fall when we have a lot of parasite pressure, in addition to doing the cucumbers. There are times, however, where we notice one or two hens are just really struggling with roundworm. And that's when we break out into the medicine cabinet and we have some wazine that we got probably a couple years ago. We probably should refresh this. But we will separate them if at all possible from the rest of the flock and put this in their drinking water for a few days and it helps kill roundworms specifically. The reason why we'd rather not do the entire flock is it has an egg withdrawal period. So for about three weeks, you can't eat a single egg, which at this time of year, they're already molting, we're already decreasing in eggs, so every egg is really valuable. So we'd hate having to do that in the fall. But if one of our hens is having an issue, we do bring out the medication. So I'm going to whip up a modified version of the recipe from Lisa Steele's book. We have a little bit of homemade yogurt left over. We have some minced garlic that we made in a previous video that I'll link above in one of the cards and down below. 
And while fresh herbs are ideal for this, we don't have a whole lot of them growing out now. They took a beating with the summer heat and they're just starting to grow back, so we don't have a lot of them. But dried herbs do work in this recipe. So I have some here. This is an Italian herb seasoning mix that has pretty much most of the herbs that are called for in the recipe and that are good for internal parasites. As a final touch, I usually put a little bit of chicken scratch on top. Most of our mature hens love yogurt, but some of our younger hens just have never been introduced to it before. So they really do enjoy a little bit of scratch on top to encourage them to start pecking so they can realize that it's delicious to them at least. It smells pretty garlicky and herby to me, but they seem to really like it. So I always do two bowls of any sort of mixture, sometimes three when I have a flock this size. It's because there are dominant hens and one's at the bottom of the pecking order. So I like to make sure that there's some equal opportunity to get a bite for everybody. Um, I might need to make a third batch because some of the young ones are not coming over because the mature hens are a little bit mean. But as you can see, the hens love eating this, which is great. And we'll keep an eye on their chicken squat and see if any worms appear next week. And if so, we'll treat them one more time before we start singling out who might be struggling a little bit more than others to give them some of the medication. Well, I hope taking you along into the chicken coop and how we deworm our chickens is helpful for you and taking care of your own backyard flock. It definitely can be a little bit disconcerting the first time you see worms show up in their poop. Uh, when they're young, they're um, like red and look kind of like miniature earthworms in the poop and then when they're older they're a white color and they're I mean look like a albino earthworm so it's a little disconcerting I'll link below to some other chicken tips that we have on our blog so that you can help take care of your backyard flock so they can lay you plenty of eggs in the future catch you next time mm -hmm.